Hey guys, Mike here at Amis Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we are going to do a subscriber request, as usual, I would almost say. And the question for today is, can you model a wheel rim? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right. Let's start off with a, uh, a polygon pipe and drag that out in the grid and pull that up. And we're going to hit Control A to pull up our, our attribute editor here. We're going to go to poly pipe 1. And we're going to set our translate values to zero to make that nice and centered. And then we're going to go to our poly pipe. Let's increase, uh, let's say, uh, actually, we'll leave subdivisions at 20. That's fine. We'll do um, a little bit less than the thickness. Let's do two for now. Height, seven. And it's a good starting point. Maybe we'll do a bit more here, right here. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, actually, that's not going to work out for me. Let's do 25. Just working out my segments here. No, I have to refer back to 20. Sorry. Okay, so we got that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to face, and we're going to skip two faces from each grid line. So this is my cross section grid line. So one, two there, one, two there, and one, two there, which gives us this, okay? We're going to go to Edit Mesh Extrude. We're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that out, and then we're going to push it in, and actually down quite a bit. Something like this. There we go. All right. And then what we're going to do is while we have these selected, edit mesh, extrude once again. Hit R. I'm going to pull that out. And G to repeat. Let's pull that out and tweak the offset to something like this. Okay, so that's uh, three and a half on thickness and an offset of 1.3, there we go. And then we're gonna right click and go into vertex, go to our top view. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag select these vertices. Okay, and we're going to hit W. We're going to pull that up. Like this, all right. Then we're going to go back to our top view. And what we're going to do is we're going to select these vertices. And make sure you drag select them and not click them because you want them both at the top one and the bottom one. Okay. So one there and one there. All right. So we've got that. And then we're going to check it from this view right here. And we are going to start to raise them up until that line is, let's see, we'll do right there. Okay, so this is what we got so far. All right. And then just to spruce this up a little bit, right click at a face. And we're just going to select these faces right here. All right, we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Then we're going to hit E to rotate. And we're going to pull them out like that. All right. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that up.
like so. Okay. And then we're going to hit R. Let's see. That's not the effect that I want. Okay, we're going to hit Control Z. We're going to skip that. Just see what we got so far. Okay, that's not too bad. All right. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take another polygon pipe. Pull that up. We're going to set the translate value to zero to get it nice and centered. Okay. Then we're going to switch to our top view, hit F to zoom in, R to scale in, and scale that way down. And just make sure that it's a clean fit. And it should be as we are at 20 right here. Okay, and then we need to position this guy. Object mode, we're going to switch to this view, hit F and hit 4. Okay, we're going to hit W, we're going to bring this guy up. Like so. Hit R to pull it in just a bit. And then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, actually multiple, sorry, we'll do two. Hit two right there. Hit R to scale them out to the ends there. Q on your keyboard. Right click face. That's, oops, that's too much. That's better. Okay. So we got that. We're going to go to Edit Mesh Extrude. Let's give that some thickness. Let's do 0 0.6. And in the offset, we're going to bring that down to about so. All right. And then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool once again. Two. And we will right click at a face. Edit Mesh Extrude. Give that just a little bit of thickness. 0 0.7, that's fine. And then we're going to go in, right click object mode, select both of them, mesh combine, hit three to smooth that out. Okay. Checking to see what we got here. It's not too bad. Okay, then we're going to take a polygon cylinder and we're going to get that little height. Hit Control A to pull up our attribute editor. Pull the cylinder one tab. We're going to set the value to zero to get it centered. In our top view, we're going to hit F to zoom in and R to scale down. And that would be about right. Let's add a few caps. Let's do three on that. F to zoom in. R to scale down. And actually, I'm going to just pull this up and from the back we're just going to get rid of these faces here. And for some reason, the last one never wants to take. All right. So let's get rid of that. Got rid of one too many. There we go. We're going to Select these and put them on. Make 
make sure nothing else is selected. Okay. Edit mesh, extrude, hit W, pull that up. And then just take this. Come on. G to repeat, W to pull up, and R to scale in, like so. Right click object mode, go back to our poly cylinder one, and set our translate values back to zero. Okay, so that's just about what we get. And then we're gonna right click go to vertex, Drag, select these bottom vertices, hit W and raise them up and in to about there. Okay. Right click object mode, select it, hit three. And there you go. All right. So that is that. And then we are going to drag, select it, mesh, combine. Edit, delete by type history, and modify freeze transformations. There we go. We're going to add some material to this. So first we're going to raise it up and hit E to rotate. And we'll uh, do minus 90. Okay. We're going to select this and we are going to right click assign new material MIA material X material tab chrome uh, sorry presets chrome replace there we go so that in itself is okay then we are going to put in some accents here so I'm going to hit one to kind of counter that smooth and we're going to take these elements here that are sticking out and just the outside, okay? So those, all right? Right click assign new material, MIA, presets, chrome, and replace. But in this case, we are going to change the color to red and push that to pretty dark. Okay. And we'll see in our render if that works out okay for us. Okay. And then in here, object mode, let's put in one more accent. It's a bit much. Come on. All right, right click, assign the material, MIA, Chrome, replace. But in this case, let's make this blue and push it to very dark. That's better, okay. Right click object mode, hit three to smooth out. Okay, and I think that's going to work out for us. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move over, and E to rotate over to minus 90 degrees. And set this back to zero. There we go. We're going to hit W, we're going to bring that down until we're on our grid line. And we're going to move this one up until we're on our grid line. And there we go. And then we'll take this and move it forward. And let's give that a go, okay? We're going to create a polygon plane. Hit R, stretch that out and stretch that out. Assign new material, 
Fong E. Let's make that white. I'm going to set up my resolution gate here so we can kind of uh, frame that, if you will. Then we're going to go to create lights, point light, a W to move up, and seven on a keyboard so we can see our actual light going on. And we'll do one there. Control D to duplicate. We'll move on over here and way up. And then we're going to create lights, ambient light. Push that way to the back and up. And set the intensity to 0 0.1. OK. We're going to go to render settings, mental ray. Common tab, we're going to set our image size to HD 1080. Uh, let's see, quality to about 1.5. Indirect lighting, I'm going to set up global illumination in our options. Uh, sorry, and we're going to do image based lighting. Okay, minimize that. Select a nice HDRI image to use. And let's see, where'd he go? Yeah, where'd he go, where'd he go? Um, just give me a sec, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. And let's do this guy. Okay, I'm going to do a quick render. I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, there you go, guys. Um, some uh, fairly futuristic uh, rims. Um, I will be doing some uh, very specific ones in the future uh, as a request also. And these will be more to spec. But this is kind of something you can do just for fun. Okay. So if you got any questions, let me know. As always, just uh, leave them in the comments. And if you want to share your results, you can... Uh, check out my Facebook page, just a search for MH Tutorials. And there are some other folks on there sharing their work as well. So that could be fun. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys again.